Hey guys, I'm Simon, and we're doing Bioshock. Let's go! Um... Huh. That's too hard. The intro is going to be quite loud, unfortunately. Hopefully that's not a problem. Yeah, that's too hard, just for the, for the hell of it. I'll talk more when we get to the game, because this is... loud. They told me. Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Actually, that shouldn't be so bad. I mean, the volume is down because we're in the game. Hold on. Yeah, frame rate's not so good. Hold on. Huh, hopefully that's better. Alright, so we'll get straight into it. The first part of the game... Oh, actually, now before we get to that... Well, I'm Simon. This is gonna be... I guess it'll be an architecture tour of Bioshock. But, um... I, I don't think I'll be talking completely about just the architecture. I think I'll be talking a lot more about gameplay as well. And art design and all that. So here we have uh, an, a, a scene that's quite obviously based on concept art. Although I think it was... Anyway, I, I won't waste time here. I think if you look on the internet, you'll even find the exact painting of this. And then they just recreated the painting in the game. Which is awesome, I mean, it's quite atmospheric. <coughs> so as we go into the first part of the game, It'll introduce to you a lot of the game's ideas and some of the game mechanics as well. So I mean, we start straight into it. No gods or kings, only man. And here, in what country is there a place for people like me, Andrew Ryan? So you can see straight away the the style of the artwork, which is Art Deco from the, the 30s and 40s, I believe. And you can hear the music as well. It's from that time era. And the first sequence which will introduce some ideas behind the game, and I'll just let you watch this. I mean, the game almost commentates itself, like the, the narrative is so well done. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose... Rapture. A city 
where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. Yep, so there we go. He explains to you that he believes in... I guess he believes in capitalism and also libertarianism. So small government, or even no government, and whatever you make, you own. And obviously we are we have a city under the ocean. I mean if it wasn't clear from that, I don't know. Welcome to Rapture. So yeah, this first part will introduce a lot of ideas. So we had Andrew Ryan's vision, his ambition, and now we have the reality of Rapture. Bye Johnny. Nice knowing you. Yes, it is. Well, somebody forgot the medication. I mean, the game quite cleverly contrasts. You know, first you have Andrew Ryan talking about, oh, this is going to be my city. I chose to do the impossible, and then once you get in here... Ground on shortwave now. That splicer's out there still. Once you get in here, you see that things aren't working out so well. Anyway, would you kindly pick up the radio? Sure, since you're so polite. I don't know how you survived that plane crash, but I've never wanted to question Providence. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. The shutters opening up like that, that looks pretty good. And it shows you again the city under the water. And this first part. We're gonna need to draw out of hiding, but you're gonna have to trust me. This first part really does commentate itself, I mean it's a tutorial part, although it's not very really obvious. But since it's trying to explain to you all of the the ideas of the game, it really You uh, do a, good, a very good job of telling you what's going on. So Ratchet is dead. Ryan doesn't own us. Yeah, so things aren't working out very well. And uh, uh, it's very it is very pretty architecture. I mean, you can see all the detailing. You have these Art, art Deco statues and then everything else. It all looks very good. And I, I don't want to. <laughs> Spend all my time. Bit How do you like that, sister? Now, would you kindly find a crowbar or something? Bloody splicer, seal Johnny in before they. Goddamn splicers! 
what was I saying? I, I'm not gonna spend too much time just gawking at all the details, but you, know, you can tell there's, there's a lot of detailing and they spend a lot of time making everything look good. I just wanted some company! Oh, we're playing hard, that's right. This might be a problem. Yeah, so we're playing on hard. I was before I started making the this recording. I was practicing on easy and um, Rapture November 5, 1946. So that gives you a date just after the Second World War. One man's vision, mankind's salvation. So this is him building the first part of the city. So yeah, I was practicing on easy, and this is quite a bit more difficult. I might die a few times. Which might be fun for you guys. So again, we have you know, detailing and a lot of a lot of time and effort spent on making everything look very pretty, which I respect. You know, I, I appreciate. I appreciate all the effort that's been put into this, and it does look very good. So, huh, what was introduced just then? Oh, that's right, the security system. So the splices are trying to kill you. The security system, I mean, you might have seen the green on the camera. When it's green, it's helpful. So it's introducing the security system, and now we're introducing plasmids. Tripping out and we're jumping off buildings. And now we're introducing Adam. This little fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some Adam on. So there they introduce plasmids, Big Daddy's little sisters. They introduce the fact that the splices are after your Adam. So yeah, a lot of game ideas are being introduced very quickly. And uh, what? Oh, nothing there. All right. Sweet fall. Oh. So there we go. 
everything's falling apart. And uh, let's. So you know, as I said earlier, you don't really have to commentate this because the game pretty much Pardon? commentates itself. Leave me alone! Don't run! <laughs> the game pretty much commentates itself. Like it, it tells you exactly what's going on and does a very good job of introducing all the ideas. Smile and be yourself. And that's what I did. I didn't mean. Oh, God! Oh, God! Take ah! Um. Whoa. So. <laughs> You're giving a sense of danger, even though you're not actually in any real danger in the game. But you get the idea that everything's falling apart. Let's see, what should I pick up? Well, I think uh, yep, I have everything. Let's move on. And again, this is a tutorial Tell, area. Ryan, I'm sorry. So I won't do it again. No. Everything's very linear. I'm not a bad person. Come on! I just want to talk to somebody. Okay, I'm sure I... I'm sure I shocked him, but apparently that did nothing. Never mind. So yeah, this, this area is very linear. And you're basically just being shown one place after the other, and you're being introduced to the concepts in the game, both in terms of gameplay and... And just the... Ladies will be knocking at my door. And the philosophy of the game. Listen, I've got a family. I need to get them out of here. But the splicers have cut me off from them. If you can reach them in Neptune's bounty, then maybe, just maybe. I know you must feel like the unluckiest man in the world right now. But you're the only hope I'll ever see my wife and child again. Go to